All right, everyone. So for this one, it is exercise Y3. It's just like Y2, um, only this time you're kind of doing the graphing, which means you're placing the dot on the number line. So for here, you're going to graph 2 over 8 and then 6 over 8, which means you're going to place two dots on the line. So first, 2 over 8. So I'll look on the number line. This is 0, 1 over 8, 2 over 8. There we go. Click, and that's the first dot. Now we also need 6 over 8, so I'll look over the number line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 over 8. Once I found it, I'll click, and now I have two dots. Now, the question's asking which number is close to 1 or closer to 1. If I look at my number line, we have the 0 over here and the 1 is over here. So which one is closer to the 1? And I would say that would be 6 over 8. That is a much closer to the 1. So the answer is 6 over 8. The next one, graph 2 over 6 and 1 over 6. So again, we need to place those two dots first. You can't do anything else before you do that. So 2 over 6 is here. 1 over 6 is right behind here. Now, which one of these is closer to 1? If I look here, not by much, but 2 over 6 technically is closer to 1. It's kind of winning the race here to the, the whole 1 number. So that would be the answer. I'll do one more, hopefully, and yeah, here we go. 3 over 6 and 4 over 6. 3 over 6, 4 over 6. Even though they're right next to each other, which one is closer to 1? And I would say 4 over 6. So that is pretty much it. Um, although you guys want to be aware of if the question asks you which is closer to 0. So if it's, let's say we have 1 over 8, and three over eight, like let's just change this to which number is closer to zero. Let's pretend that's uh, zero for now. You need to find the lesser fraction. So in this case, if it was asking which is closer to zero, that would be one over eight. So just be careful. They might change it up on you and um, good luck.